Vick in action right now. He's back to pass again. He's hot. He fires deep down the right side for Finneran. Touchdown! Vick may have a gun, but he also has the finest set of feet since Fred Astaire. And against the Vikings, he ran for 173 yards, breaking Tobin Roth's NFL record for a quarterback. Even Minnesota's radio crew was cheering. Vic, short drop, looking to run. He eludes a tackle, and there he goes. 45-40, back to the left, 35. Oh runs away for one, 25-20. Look at him go! Oh my! What a superstar! Atlanta's offense was a one-Vic pony as their thoroughbred accounted for 346 of the Falcons' 379 yards. Inside, no matter what they charge me, getting in the party, VIP'd up, you know where all the stars be. All through the weekend, ballers be meeting, different color cars, that's how they creeping, keep it. We bouncing and wildin', my people's machines, so popping them collars, ooh, won't you let us ball us through? So raise it up, I can't be touched, I ain't no front. We came to stunt when the club goes down, big cause big. Only reason shorty shot the seven seven south. We're rolling hard and we're headed to the house. Just to get a taste of the Carolina pride. We're rolling, 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 rolling. Yeah. 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 a loose ball and Joe Patton picked it up for Rott is still down at the 10-yard line and boy did he take a shot that he could not see or even feel now, sometimes when you, ha you have courage in the pocket like Gus Farad does you hang on to the ball wait and wait and wait down and that's what happens on the extra point the point is no good now, he, he's going to be looking over here. His right. I think he was trying to get the ball to Brian Mitchell and was just waiting and waiting, and then no chance. Now inside the 20-yard line, and on third and goal, Bench Young to both skate. Going to make it 21-7. Now he's in the fourth quarter, five minutes left in the game. Bench Young's going to roll right. Sneaks it in the corner of the end zone. Does an outstanding job. Got off defensive offside. Just 21-14. Right here on fourth and ten. The game should be over. You got a potential sack by Matthias Kiwanuka. He lets Vince Young go. Vince is able to scramble not for the ten yards, but for nine more 19-yard game. And here is Coughlin just going off here on Kiwanuka. And why not? The game would have been over. The Giants instead are going to blow a 21-point lead in the space of 10 minutes. They were up 21-0 with 10 minutes to go in the game. Brandon Jones with the touchdown catch, 49 seconds left, tied at 21. Tim Hart played in four Pro Bowls, and his career numbers are of Pro Football Hall of Fame caliber, but he's been overlooked by the voters. The career numbers, 2,593 pass completions, good for 34,665 yards and 209 touchdowns. He even ran for 13 TDs. After 17 seasons, the Cardinals coldly released the best quarterback in their history, and he played one final year for the Washington Redskins. Jim eventually became the athletic director at SIU and has been inducted into the Saluki Hall of Fame, the Missouri Sports Hall of Fame. There's nobody that goes harder. Blue wing, yellow thunderbolts. We ain't gonna wait much longer. Bring it home the Super Bowl ring to the city. That's our mission, my man. So they gotta give it to me here. Yeah. All around the league, everybody feels coming here. Yeah, that's for good reason. We the bomb.com so low. San Diego, we the home of the day. On first down, play action for Brett Barr. Steps up in the pocket, fires a bomb. Deep right sideline, looking for country. He's got it at the five into the end zone. Touchdown! Brett Barr dodges a sack, throws one up for grabs at the goal line. A leaping catch is made. Touchdown! Chancey stuck.
Kentucky with the touchdown reception. A prayer of a heave from Brett Favre, and the Jets score on fourth and 14. Jets on three. One, two, three. Jets. Favre takes the ball. Fires a bullet. End zone. Caught. Touchdown. Favre flips it back left corner of the end zone. Makes the catch. Touchdown. Barb takes the snap, throws a bomb over the middle, into the end zone, touchdown! If Seattle were to spring an upset, they would have to control the combat zone on the line of scrimmage. Pence and the disbelieving experts watched as the Seahawks took command. Touchdowns by Kurt Warner and Cullen Bryant forged a 17-13 fourth quarter lead. And with only a few minutes remaining, the Seahawks were on the verge of the year's biggest upset. Back in the mid-70s, Mike Barilla played one of the sport's toughest positions in front of arguably the league's toughest fans. This West Coast All-American came to Philadelphia, bringing his long-haired Stanford looks with him. That playboy image didn't play out that well here. West Coast ain't Philly, and it was very easy to leave uh, the world that I uh, lived in there uh, 30 years ago. His three seasons with the Eagles were hardly memorable. He barely completed just over half of his passes and won less than half the games he started. And whatever the NFL spotlight was, from Mike Barilla, it was just a blur. 